Friday. It is Friday. I don't know if y'all had a long week, but it's been long at my place. It's been a long week. It's been a good week. Damn, that's uh, a big in there. That is a big fan. That is actually our second one. Um, that one's actually already sold. We just hadn't got to the shop yet today. So we've been showing it off and it actually, we somehow, I went to order one and order two by mistake somehow. I don't know, but with that one being out and showing it, it actually sold another one because it does run off of cord, right? but it also runs off a of battery. So you can choose which way you go with it. How long does that thing run off a of battery being that big? So obviously it varies per the battery. Um, see if you can pull it up, see if the spec time. That's a hoss of a fan right there. So yeah, when you're used to that little small fan, so the customer that actually bought that one, uh, the other one yesterday, uh, he's gonna put it in his race trailer. Oh, yeah, so he's gonna run idea. it off of his generator anyway, mm. but the thing was he can also, if he needs to take it out, go anywhere with it he can put it on the battery so cool it's got three settings nice nice speeds on it um and like you said mississippi heat we were used to this one now we got that one it's a hoss yeah. of a fan so <laughs> yeah it's a big big jump from that one to that one right yeah that's most definitely right. um and they have really good deals on the Milwaukee this this month. Um, they're going to start in July 1, so I guess I should say next month. I know we're so close that I'm already saying this month, but right. got some pretty deal, pretty good deals coming out. Which we ended our ratchet promotion yesterday, so hopefully everybody got their ratchets ordered and ready to go. But now we're going to follow right behind it with uh, some more good deals um, with the Milwaukee and everything else. So cool i've been seeing the new stubby impact that's supposed to come out the 550 yep. foot power one so. yeah um i saw a couple macro distributors already share it um mm -hmm. quarter in or not quarter three eighths and half yeah um 550 foot pounds like 300 something rpm uh supposed to be a hoss i'm ready to say it's supposed to be lighter i'm ready to get my hands on one of those and see exactly where we're at so yeah, but be it's just one of those things. Cool thing to get. So, but we've also been selling a bunch of the. I know we saw or showed it on another video. The compact blowers. Yeah, that's one of the things that's going to be on sale. The fan. Um, they're actually going to have a deal to where if you buy two batteries, you get these for free. One of one of or other. Um, actually, there's like five things you can get for free. So, be sure and ask your Maco dealer about that. Sweet. Um, we do have I don't know if we've talked about the new inflators that Maco has um, we do have those they are rechargeable so no more changing oh, the batteries that's nice. um, that was the biggest thing um, that well one of our biggest complaints with the other ones was changing the batteries was a hassle um, you had to be careful but they did redesign them we actually have the blue one is actually got the quick chuck on it. Mm -hmm. The green and orange is actually got the regular chuck on it. So push it on and then it releases by pulling back on the collar. So people's been really liking those. That's really nice. I like the quick, that was one of the big things was everybody wanted the quick adjust, or not quick adjust, quick, quick attach. Right. Um, so I'm glad they had it on there. I don't know if they'll later, uh, throw it on these i'm sure you can buy it just the attachment and put it on there now mm -hmm. um but that's just one of those things so. these styles work really good though that yeah that I'll, kind of... i've never had a problem with those ends and nobody ever complained with them um the only pro the only complaint that i've ever heard on the old style was the batteries when they went dead yeah. you had to the, pull that rubber the rubber cutter. and it's actually really stout i mean it's mm -hmm you think it would be super simple and I mean once you get used to it it is but it is kind of a booger at first to hold it down un yeah. undo that thing and that's normally where stuff would go awry but we gotta fix the temper but, temper yeah, flyer yeah yeah uh, we also uh, been selling a bunch of the snap ring plier sets these mm -hmm. one will sell a while back and we kind of 
We put them on the truck, forgot to display them, so we've actually extended our sale on them. Um, your dealer may have already went through them. You may have seen them a while back, may have just start seeing them now. If your dealer did like me, he put them on the truck, forgot about them. Yeah. But uh, everybody likes these. They're really nice, and they come in these nice pouches. Um, they, mm -hmm. they are in a box all together. We priced it as if we were just going to buy like one case of these, and it's actually cheaper to go ahead and buy all three together wow. with it being on sale. So uh, we had a transmission shop looking to buy just the bigger ones. And when we typed in the part number, because the part number is actually on the case, we typed in that part number. There was like 60 something dollars difference, I think, maybe. So we just went ahead and sold all of them. But Heck yeah. So if you need pliers, fans, spot blowers, inflators. That's the way to do it right there. That, that's it. It's always good to get something on sale. I try to only buy on sale. Um, but sometimes you have to buy just a stock of trucks. So. Yeah. Well, can you talk about these or is that like off limits? I'll talk about them. Okay. Um, it's actually, it can go into another thing. We, we sell these just because I've had them for a really long time. Maco actually doesn't cover these, um, but I have had one for a long time. So I reached out and I just started carrying a few of them. But like I said, I can lead into a Maco thing. Maco announced yesterday that we are actually partnering up with Kershaw. Okay. So we're actually gonna start carrying Kershaw knives. We got three coming our way on the new product. We got a deal where we get some new products. So we've got three coming. And uh, I tried to talk to Kershaw back during COVID and they actually wasn't accepting any new uh, dealers or anything like that. Right. Um, and now they're actually partnering with Maco, so I'm excited about that because I've wanted to carry Kershaw for a long time and hadn't been able to. Now we get to carry Kershaw, so. There you go. But yeah, I started out with. Uh, you have to show everybody what, what makes those so cool. Though. Yeah, <laughs> so I think, are you talking about these or these? these I'll just show both of them. Yeah. So these do have a glass breaker, but also they are the automatic style. And they have so many different variations oh, yeah. for the blade on them. Um, but she carries a teal one all the time. I actually carry uh, the red style of that knife, which they're unique as well. It does have a glass breaker. It's good and light. They're made in Texas. That's another reason that I wanted to carry them because they mm -hmm. are made you know, here local, not Mississippi local, but local. Um, now it does have a safety feature to where if it's in your pocket and you press it, it will not open up. Simply re-engage it and we're back to working. That's really cool right there. So, and all your states are different uh, as far as laws go. They, uh, some of the states allow them, some of them don't allow them because they do consider them to be switchblades. Um, Mississippi doesn't really have a law. It's not that we allow them. It's not that we don't allow them. <laughs> Uh, I've sold a lot of them. I'm not going to name the police officers that I've sold them to, but I've sold a lot to police officers. So, um, at least in Mississippi, it's no big deal. That's the one I carry. Uh, these are kind of unique too, because you can't just close it. And what I like about them is most of the time you're folding knives. When you put them in a cheaper knife, anyway, you put them in a bind, they'll close on you. Mm -hmm. So these do not do that, but you have to slide that down that's the lock to close it but also have to slide it down to open it right so it's an automatic as well it, it's funny watching people try to figure out how to open and close these on the truck uh, we've had two people out of a hundred probably get it right right off the bat <laughs> everybody else is like all right how does this knife work um, so and the more you the more you do it the easier that button becomes um, those are really cool. The colors are really neat on those too. So the the really neat colors have already sold. We had we started out with like fifty something of those, um, and we're down to those. And we probably honestly wouldn't be down with that just that many, but you know, people's saving money for vacations yep. and everything else. So um, really nice knives. If it's to have Kershaw as well, I'm going to be glad to have. That's cool. Uh, it's always fun to come on a tool truck mm -hmm. and have 
other than tools, right? Yeah. Um, just something to look at. You know, we've we've been partners with Oakley for a long time. We're gonna have jerky next week. It's supposed to come in today. So as long as we get it inside before any animals outside can get to it, we'll be all right. <laughs> well, um, I know the Oakleys that I got for my wife on Mother's Day. She likes them. Like she wears them all the time now. You know, so pretty good. It's yeah. nice to be able to come on here because you don't have to go to the store. That's right. And look like a dummy standing in front of a wall of 10,000 sunglasses when you just ask your wife, which one of these would you buy? And it's usually a safe bet right there. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, between Oakley sunglasses, knives, we've got a little bit of everything. The bump boxes have been really popular. Uh, everybody's wanting to have them by their pools and everything else mm -hmm. on their boats. I know next week we won't be here because it'll be, you know, 4th of July, but um, there's going to be a lot of the bump boxes and stuff that we've sold this week being planned. We probably sold four bump boxes wow. in the last two days. So That's everybody's cool. gearing up ready for the, the holiday next week. Absolutely. I think we're all looking forward to a day off. A day off will be great. That's it. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. Stay cool. See ya.